Hello, my name is Paul Bevan from Siemens Digital Industry Software. And in this demonstration, we're going to take a look at how Draw Cage inside of NX Realize Shape can help you to quickly re engineer a design from a scanned data set. In the graphics window, you can see that we have a convergent body, which is the result of importing a scanned file of a car hood or bonnet, depending on which side of the Atlantic Ocean you live. To make it easier to reverse engineer the bonnet from the scanned information, I'm just going to change the display. So we're going to use some translucency, but also highlight the facet edges that make up the convergent body, as you can see. And to give further visual assistance, I'm going to add facet body curvature to my display. This shows me both the concave and convex areas within the facet body. So I've oriented the bonnet, so I'm looking directly on top of it, and I'm going to enter the NX Realize Shape application and choose the Draw Cage command. Draw Cage is an intuitive and dynamic method of quickly generating subdivision surface geometry directly from a scan body. You can see as I select geometry directly from the facet body that a four-sided surface is being created. And as I step through to the next selection, a new surface is created and added to the previous one. And I keep using this same methodology to fully define this section of the bonnet. And if you need to make any adjustments to the subdivision model, then you can use tools such as Transform Cage to do that. Here I can just dynamically drag one of the cage edges to better fit the model. So this bonnet is symmetrical. So how do we create the other half? Well, it's pretty easy. I'm just going to start by removing the facet edges and the facet curvature display. And now I'm going to switch on symmetric modeling. And by doing that, it automatically creates me the other half of the subdivision body. Now when I modify one of the cage vertices, you'll notice that the opposing side updates too. It's that easy to do. So let's continue with our re-engineering of the bonnet. We're going to take a look at the wall of the valley towards the center of the bonnet. So I'm going to switch back on facet edge display and also my facet curvature display and use draw cage. But what you'll notice this time is that as I select a point on the existing subdivision body that we just created, it now recognizes the extent of that first face and the second face and third as we go through. So I'm only having to select one point on the bonnet for each individual face. And there we have that wall is now complete. You'll also notice that as I had symmetric modeling switched on, that the opposite wall was being created at exactly the same time. Now you'll notice that the transition between the top surface and the wall is currently smooth. But that's not what we want. If you look at the convergent body, the scan data, it's actually a sharp transition. And we can use the continuity command inside of Realize Shape to modify it. All I need to do is to select the cage edge and change the continuity from smooth to sharp. And you'll notice that both sides of the model have been modified to suit. And it better follows the shape of our convergent body. So currently we have two halves of the model done. But how do we go about joining them together? Well, it's pretty simple. We can use the fill command and use the setting connect symmetrically. We pick two cage edges and apply, and it automatically joins the two sides across the symmetric center line. We can use transform cage to make some adjustments. So again, here at the front of the valley, we're going to modify the control point 
just drag that forward a bit. Once we're happy with that, we can apply that and take a look at it. You can see how we've adjusted that cage edge. And then the floor of the valley, we can use a similar technique. So again, we'll use the fill command. This time we can window select around a number of cage edges in one go. And now when we hit the apply, the floor of the valley has been created. Again, we're going to make an adjustment to one of the control points. Again, using transform, we'll set the direction, and then we'll drag it in that direction to closer fit the shape. And again, when we take a look at that, without the facets, you can see what we've done. So I've completed what I wanted to do with the draw cage inside of NX Realize Shape. So we're going to come out of that application and we'll switch off our convergent body. And we're just left now with the subdivision body we just created. And you can see that we still have an opening at the front of the valley. So I want to uh, close that off. And to do that, I'm going to use Fill Surface. All I have to do then is to select the four edges on the open boundary. And then I'll be able to set the continuity. The default is set to position, which I'm good with. And once I've done that, I can complete the command and that surface has been added in. All that remains to be done is to sew that separate sheet body into my original subdivision body. And once I've done that, I now have one single sheet body that I can work with. So to finalize this part of the design, I'm going to add some blends. I'm going to start at the front of the valley and blend the front corner using some of the AI tools inside of NX, such as Select Predicted Objects. It allows me to automatically select other edges that I may want to add particular features to. I'm going to continue to add a blend at the floor of the valley. I'm going to adjust the size to suit. We're happy with that. We can apply it. Take a look at the model and then we'll create a couple of more blends. One at the front. Again, we'll use prediction to select the opposite side. And finally, we'll create a blend around the top of the valley where it meets the main surface. Again, we can dynamically adjust the size or we can type in a value. And there we have our model is complete. So we'll switch our convergent body back on and then just take a look at the surfaces that we've created. You can see the form is matching the form of the scanned information. And if we just recap on what you've seen, we took a convergent body, which was an imported scan file, and we used draw cage inside the NX Realize Shape application to directly select off the convergent body to quickly generate subdivision surfaces that help us develop and re-engineer the bonnet. You saw how I was able to use symmetric modeling, which meant I only had to modify one half of the model, but it affected both sides. You saw how we were able to connect the two halves together using the fill surface command. And finally, how we were able to complete the design using standard NX surfacing and modeling tools, such as fill surface and the blend capabilities. I'd like to thank you for your time and attention.